Hi, I am Kaylee, also known as Rosie's Reptiles, on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and I have an Etsy shop. This is my first YouTube video. Um, I've been quite scared to do YouTube. Um, I don't know why, because I feel like TikTok is much scarier. Anyways, this is just my intro video. Like, who I am and stuff. Hi, so I'm Kaylee. Um, I am a literal reptile-obsessed nursing student. And before anyone starts saying, well, you should go into vet. No. No. I will not go into vet. That's a story for another day. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a literal reptile-obsessed nursing student. I am from Alberta, Canada, which is great. My reptile obsession started back in 2018. I will insert some photos, but... Um, it started when my uh, younger sister decided she wanted a tortoise for her birthday. Yeah, tortoise. Uh, that's a really bad idea. Eh. Anyway, she didn't end up getting the tortoise, thank God. So, instead of getting her a tortoise, we threw her a birthday party. That uh, We had someone come to our house and bring a bunch of reptiles and show them off. Um, so I got to hold a ball python, and this was my first like real interaction with uh, reptiles and I fell in love with them I found they were just so beautiful the ball python that I was holding was just so gentle and just the sweetest little thing alive and I became obsessed so later that year we uh we got Nathaniel our crested gecko he actually started as a Nala not Nathaniel until about two years after we got him, he uh, dropped a pair of nuts and decided he was a guy now, which is very funny. So then he went from Nala to Nathaniel. From there, uh, in November of 2021, I brought home Rosie, my African fat-tailed gecko. My entire channel, social media accounts, are all named after Rosie. Um, I, my entire account was dedicated to her and to her recovery from FTT syndrome. I will make a video talking about that because um, her story is very important as to how this came to be. I started TikTok in uh, f January of 2022 uh, just to document Rosie's journey. That was all. Just in hopes that maybe there was someone else experiencing what I was going through with her and I could help somebody. Of course, with any illness, there are complications. And Rosie ended up passing away from her complications on December 16th of 2022. I knew due to her like circumstances that I wasn't gonna get a full 15 to 25 years like you typically do with a gecko. I wasn't even guaranteed 10 years with her. I was guaranteed 10 years if she never, ever, ever got sick, but she did end up getting sick. So yeah, she passed away and I was devastated. Um, I felt like a part of me had died along with her. She was my, you know how some people have soul animals? She was my soul animal. Like some people have like a soul dog or a soul cat where they just perfectly bond with that animal. That was me and Rosie. So when she died, a part of me died with her. Well, and I lost, I lost my baby. So uh, my family brought home, surprised me with Winnie, my leopard gecko. And they brought her home shortly after Rosie passed away. Um, just before my birthday. And she has been the absolute most amazing little creature in the world to take care of. Watching her grow has been the craziest roller coaster ever. It's awesome. <laughs> but that's how raising reptiles is. There, it's always just a, a massive roller coaster. So yeah, raising Winnie went really, really, really well. Um, I was actually scared away from African fat tails for a little while just because of what happened with Rosie. Uh, but I did end up bringing another one home, uh, May 17th. M May 14th. Sorry. <laughs> May 14th of uh, 2023, I brought home Rue, my albino African fat-tailed gecko. Um, if you can't tell, Winnie and Rue are named after Winnie the Pooh characters. Because I have a theme. In the future, I'd like a Tigger and I would like an Eeyore, but it's so funny. I always tell everybody all reptiles have very different personalities and you can research an animal as much as you want, but if you when you bring that animal home, you're gonna learn that it has a completely 
completely different personality than the one you saw on TikTok. Just saying. Um, Rue is polar opposite to Rosie. Uh, Rosie was gentle and very, very, very outgoing. Very much like Winnie. Winnie's not gentle, though. Winnie is kind of crazy. Rue, on the other hand, is a sass monster. It's incredible. She's the sassiest thing alive. If you want to get bit by someone, like, real hard, you can get bit by Rue. I'm a... <laughs> you want to feel what that feels like? By all means, go ahead. She'll bite you. <laughs> but I love, love, love my reptiles. They are my pride and joy. They are literally the highlight of my day. And I wouldn't change it for the world. So, uh, Winnie's on the top and Rue's on the bottom. Yeah, I'll insert clips of their enclosures. I will also insert a clip of Nathaniel's enclosure as well. Nathaniel does not belong to me. Nathaniel belongs to my sister. Um, however, I help out with his care as much as I can. So yeah, that's kind of my intro. Um, this YouTube channel will mainly be for education. I'd like to do a leopard gecko care guide, a African fat tail gecko care guide, and a crested gecko care guide eventually. Um, so I have a lot of ideas here and there. I'd also like to do a like bioactive enclosure type video. But yeah, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see because I'm very new to this and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. That sounds so weird to say. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next one.